with these new technologies, the idea of personal and non-personal data, these boundaries are very, very difficult to draw. And in some cases, don't really make sense. Um, but because we decide to constitute a particular kind of data economy, because we want to build regulation and think of data in a particular way, that's where, why we've gone the PDP route. There are ways to then, there are two ways out of this. Either we can, or, or two ways to kind of start addressing and emerging this problem now that we've realized that there is more to data than meets the eye or that, that meets the PDP based definitions of personal data. Um, there are ways to expand um, notions of substantive data rights um, are within our framework of data governance that's already, well, it's not in place yet, but potentially in place that focuses on um, the individual and provides greater kind of um, structural protection against the kinds of harms that we're talking about, including fairness, including equality, including uh, expanding on the notion of individual autonomy. Um, and then addressing other harms by, say, having an AI-specific regulation, uh, which addresses the ways in which these technologies are built, addresses hardware standardizations as the PDP bill tries to do, and addresses like algorithmic fairness and so on. Um, or there's ways of, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, for example, if you're concerned particularly about the effect on individuals within contemporary data governance practices, you can find ways to... Um, allow individuals to have greater control over um, these systems. And I think like consent is not a great way of doing that, whether continuing or whether one time. So there need to be maybe new ways of thinking about within personal data protection. Um, how can individuals receive clearer explanations of processing that are happening? Yeah. How can individuals re receive, say, profile transparency, which is something that the PDP will actually does do when it includes inferences within the notion of personal yeah. data. Um, it's actually a big step forward in terms of thinking about um, uh, how these data processing technologies are controlled because a lot of what's happening in profiling based um, data processing is inferential uh, understanding or like kind of, you know, making inferences from directly perceived data uh, that, that depend uh, data processors and controllers. Are doing. So, you know, there are different ways of going about it. I guess it ultimately depends on how you think about like data as an object of governance itself. 